Team chemistry is a, a, quite an interesting topic because uh, it's not something a coach can always control. It really depends upon the heart of the team. And I've had years where we had great team chemistry and years when we didn't. And people will say, well, just create the team chemistry. But actually, uh, it depends very largely on the heart of the athlete. Uh, and how they come together and unite behind the mission. We really spend a lot of time on a daily basis on uh, getting the girls to work together and to battle through adversity together. So we do things in terms of just general practice. We'll, we'll get together and we'll do some problem solving. We'll stop practice occasionally and, and uh, you know, just on the court we'll, we'll talk about things that we can do to overcome adversity as a group. We do some team building and uh, crazy things like maybe even play paintball and you'll find out real quick who the aggressive ones are and who depends on each other and who's the shy ones real quick when especially with a paintball flying by their head. Team chemistry is, is vital to any program uh, you know the the connections with each team member and uh, them buying into the vision and, and mission and then uh, living that out each day in fact coming into the off season you know, team chemistry comes really important uh, that they stay in contact with their workouts and, and just pushing that championship mindset even when uh, they're not necessarily together. I think one of the ways that we try and do it is just investing in our guys, making sure they feel great about uh, their experience. And when the student athlete experience is heightened and, uh, and you got guys rowing in the same direction at the same time, uh, man, your team is so much tougher to to, uh, to defeat. 